This video is going to show you how to use WinSCP to upload your uh, web projects and to submit a link properly. You can save your settings for WinSCP, so I'm just going to log in with the save settings. Uh, as students, when you log in, you're going to go directly into your folder, and you need to put everything you want to get served into the public HTML folder. Now, I'm going to grab something out of the public HTML folder. I'm going to grab this index.html, but usually you'll be working the other way. Usually you'll have something on your hard drive, which is on the left side of WinSCP, and you're going to work on it on your computer, and then you're going to uh, upload it by uh, copying it or dragging and dropping it on the right side, which is the, the web server. So here's my index.html. I'm going to right click on it and do edit with notepad plus plus as long as you've got notepad plus plus installed. You could have just double clicked on it in WinSCP and opened it up from the server. Then you don't get the benefits of notepad plus plus which are um, the color coding and the easy indentation and things like that. Notepad plus plus also has a nice feature uh, with this run menu where you can launch it in different browsers to see how it looks. You can see in the address bar, this is opening up the version that's on my hard drive, on my C drive. And the image isn't showing because the image isn't in that same folder as the index.html file. So I'm going to copy the image over by dragging and dropping it. And now when I refresh that local version, the image shows up. All right, so that's all you have to do. You keep your web browser open and you just refresh as you make changes and saves within Notepad++. So I'm going to change the title, what's within the title tag, I'm going to hit save and then refresh and we see that it did make a change. So this is what you're going to do with your web assignments, uh, your web programming assignments. You're going to make little changes to Notepad++, you're going to save the changes and then you're going to refresh your browser to make sure it did what you wanted to do. Once you're done with your assignment, and you've added some good comments and everything, you can close Notepad++, find the file on your hard drive, and drag and drop it back up to the server. I recommend you make a folder for each assignment uh, to keep things organized. And then you need to make sure that you can actually get to that file on the real web server, not on your local hard drive like this one is. All right, so you need to find the address, and in your Assignments tab and in the Getting Started, it shows you what the address is going to be. Uh, wf.sn.edu, a tilde, your username, and then your file name, and you might need to put a folder name in there. So rather than username, I'm going to use uh, example. You have to have the exact correct syntax here, so you might need to go look at WinSCP to find out the syntax of your files and folders. And capitalization matters when it's on the server for all your file names. So now that you know the correct file name on the server, you're going to put that as part of your submission so that I can find it. Um, but you can, I want you to build a good link so that I just have to click on it to get to your page. And your full link is going to look like what's in the instructions. You're going to copy that entire address uh, with the full syntax for an HTML link, you're going to paste it down there, and then you're going to replace the link part with the address from the web browser. You know this is a good address that works because we just tested it. So I'm going to replace what's inside of the first set of double quotes, or the only double quotes, with that address. It is a first set because we have a target blank. That means it's going to open up in a new window. Now you can test the entire HTML that you built using that second link. This is the uh, W3Schools Triad Editor. This is a very useful thing that you can use uh, when you're doing your assignments as well. We know that that link works properly, so now it's good to go. Make sure you check the box to use HTML when you submit it, and I will get it properly and everything will be good.